What is up guys, Ram Hana one here and welcome to Yu-Gi-Oh! number 84. In this episode we are covering a brand new product that has been released by Konomi and uh, this product for the Yu-Gi-Oh! game actually looked really good to me. So remember in the comment section down below at the end of this video let me know what you think of this product and if you enjoyed the video remember to give it a like rating. But anyway onto the product. The product is called Monster Box and the first Monster Box we're going to get is Judgment of Light Monster Box. And this is, I think, going to be their equivalent to what they had before. I can't remember the uh, the official name for it. But basically what it consisted of was one of two rare foil cards. Um, three, three or four booster packs. I think a beginner's guide. And uh, that was pretty much it. It was a very basic set. A couple of booster packs. A card that I don't think it was part of the actual booster pack. But it was a nice limited edition card. And a beginner's guide which everyone just throws in a box somewhere. But anyway, that's what it consists of before. But this monster box, although it looks like it's going to be a little bit more expensive, you, you're going to get your money's worth from it. So, um, yeah, let me just go over it. So the Judgment of Light monster box is a new type of product being tried by Konomi. The breakdown. Each Judgment of Light monster box is comprised of nine Judgment of Light unlimited booster packs. So we're jumping up a notch. We're going from three to four to nine that's that's a big boost two foil versions of common cards from judgment of the light or judgment of yeah judgment of the light that's what it's called judgment of the light two common cards in now in foil so that's also pretty good i mean the common cards aren't anything mind-blowing but there are probably some common cards i didn't pick up any judgment of the light but uh, there are probably some common cards in that set that uh just part of an archetype maybe and you want to get all those cards in foil this is uh, this is useful so and you get two of them I'm not sure if they're random or they're already picked but you get two foil versions of common cards one pack of unique card sleeves 50 no 50 count 50 of them that's also really gotta mean those card sleeves are something that a lot of players use and it's boring just using the plain purple and I think I have purple and white ones. You can get like orange, red, blue, green, all these different colors, but they're a bit boring. It's nice to have something a little bit different, something that stands out. And if you're going to get this monster pack or monster box, even, it would be nice to have like some uh, little card sleeves. Obviously, they're going to be Judgment of the Light ones. So if Judgment of the Light is your thing, I wouldn't particularly want Judgment of the Light ones because I don't think the uh, uh, the cover for them are, is particularly mind blowing. But I wouldn't mind Shadow the Spectral ones, for example. So that's also pretty good. This is the big thing for me. One of two foil preview cards from Shadow Spectres. So obviously this pack comes out before Shadow Spectres. Oh, this pack even, this set, comes out before Shadow Spectres. So you're going to get one of two preview cards from Shadow Spectres. And that can um, that can be pretty good. I mean, uh, the, it could be the cover card, for example. I doubt it would be the cover card. Or it could just be a, a card in the middle, just something that's not... 100% part of an archetype but maybe part of a current archetype and it's meant to be released in the full set if you know what I mean so uh, just off the top of my head Mecha Phantom Beastcraft say there's going to be a Mecha Phantom Beastcraft in Shadow Spectres instead of releasing it in Sh or on top of releasing it in Sp Shadow Spectres you can release it in this uh, this monster box get a little preview and it's also going to encourage people to buy uh, more than one monster box because it's one of two so yeah previews I think for anything is awesome previews betas demos all those things are awesome and this is going to be a really huge drawing and selling point in my opinion for these new monster box products and of course a beginner's guide yeah throw that in your box but anyway, in my opinion, this monster box is definitely a key step forward. Nine packs, uh, th that's where the value is really going to come from. The nine packs and then all these other things are going to add on a little value. Nine packs, I'm not sure how much is that worth. But I'd say you're looking at around, I don't know, maybe 25 to 30 pounds, maybe. I'm not sure. That's just in the UK, uh, obviously more in the US in dollars. But... Yeah, I, I think you're looking at a little bit more, but I think you're definitely getting your money's worth. And like I said, that preview card from a card that's going to be in the next pack. So if there's a monster box for Shadow Spectres and this is a successful product, there'll be preview cards in the monster box for the next pack. 
that's just a huge drawing and a huge selling point in my opinion. But anyway guys, those are just my opinions. As I said at the beginning of the video, leave your comments below telling what you think. Leave a like rating. And if you haven't done so already, subscribe for more Yu-Gi-Oh! videos. Again guys, it's Ron Panda 1. And I'll see you all next time. Peace.